Hi, how are you? Denise here, how to stay fit after 50.com. Uh, healthy after 50 with Denise Sanger on Facebook and Instagram, and right here on YouTube. Uh, ignore the cat, she was sitting here nicely. Well, now you're going to watch her over my shoulder here. <laughs> Today's topic is best ways to lose weight after 50. And it's crazy to me the um, stress we put on ourselves about numbers on a scale. But facts are that those numbers on the scale do have, do play into our overall health and wellness picture. So today we're going to talk about just eight simple things you can do to jumpstart your weight loss over 50. Okay, you ready? It gets harder the older we get to lose the weight. So the best thing you can do is try to maintain your weight. Don't go up any further from where you are right now, okay? So it doesn't matter where you are right now. That's your goal is to not gain any more weight than where you're at. It sounds simple, but it's not. Um, our bodies, as our metabolism slow down, it even if you don't increase what you're eating, chances are you still might gain weight. Just, you know, you're just not as active as you used to be. So the key, number one, is to not gain any more weight than where you are right now today. Number two, strength training. I know a lot of women, the first thing they think of is, if I lift weights, if I lift weights or if I go in the gym and I start lifting that barbell, I'm gonna look like a man. Women, it's impossible to look like a man. You'd have to really be taking some, um, not legal supplements, I'm gonna leave that there, to increase the muscle mass to the point where you look like a man, okay? So we are just not built with the same hormonal structure, same muscular structure, same everything that men have. So in, what, in, what increasing your strength training does is it helps you maintain and build muscle mass. That muscle mass helps you keep your metabolism, you know, boost your metabolism and running more efficiently. So that's the second thing. Cardio, yes, but really, really, really focus on increasing your strength training and as you start strength training, bumping up the weight that you're lifting. Find a buddy, a fitness buddy. I'm telling you, this one alone has gotten me through more events. I mean, my, my very first marathon I did, I was crying and I was to the point where I was like, why did, who, did, who talked me into running 26 miles? And I got a text from my best friend saying, I'm thinking of you, you got it. Just that simple little thing pushed me through. It's the same thing when you're exercising. Just having somebody waiting for you will have you more likely to show up and get it done. So find a buddy. Sit less and move more. This garment of mine, I'm sitting now because I just came back from a um, short weekend beach trip, but this garment here tells me, all of a sudden I'll feel my garment vibrate. It's telling me to move. It's telling me that I haven't been moving enough and in order for me to get the steps in that my body is used to me getting in, I need to get up and start moving around. So that's a real good thing. If you don't have a fitness watch, don't worry about it. Set an alarm so that every hour you get up and you get moving. Um, increase your protein. That's a huge one, especially um, as, again, as we get older, it's not all meat and potatoes, guys. And my husband's Italian, so I understand the struggle <laughs> firsthand. But uh, when you're putting food on your plate, half of it, all right, we're gonna think of a, not really a peace sign, but part of a peace sign. Half of it is vegetables. And then make sure that two thirds of it, okay, so half vegetables, two thirds of it is protein. So lean chicken, fish, lean beef, if you eat beef, I don't eat beef anymore, nor do I eat pork, um, turkey, lean meats. And save that little portion that's left up there, those are your carbs, okay? So increase, well, carbs as in like your pasta or your rice or stuff like that, because there are carbs in your vegetables. But increase your protein intake. Next, if you are struggling, talk to a dietitian. 
many times, I know I'm gonna be, I'm almost 60 now, so many times as we get older, part of our insurance actually includes talking with a nutrition nutritionist or a dietitian. Take advantage of that. Go talk to them. They're gonna ask you what your what you normally do every day, how you normally eat, where we can swap this out, where we can fix it, and you know, make it healthier but easier for you. If that if that doesn't work, definitely talk to a nutritionist. Um, just simple little, t just keeping a food journal and handing somebody that food journal for them to look at, and they're gonna say, oh, okay, well right here, you didn't drink enough water. Or right here, you didn't have enough protein in this meal. Those little simple tweaks go a long way. Um, number seven, cook more at home. That is a huge one. So many of us go out to eat all the time. And first of all, you can't control what's in there. And second of all, it's generally super high in fat and super high in sodium. And as you, as we age, those are two things that we've got to keep a track on. Cooking at home, you know what's going into that meal. You know what's going in that meal. You know if you can back off the salt and add more pepper, say, or you need to increase the chicken so that it's more balanced with your vegetables and everything else that you're eating on your plate. When you go out there and you order, you know, I mean, even not even necessarily a fast food, but when you go to a restaurant and you order food, uh, today, I kid you not, I was in a restaurant for breakfast and I ordered my, you know, eggs and everything, but I watched the table next to me. She had a plate come to her this big, piled biscuits and gravy. Guys, I mean, this plate was had to be, I couldn't even tell you, it had to be a good 12 inches around and it was just loaded. They put that in front of you, you're gonna eat it. So stay at home, cook your own meals. And number eight, eat more produce, okay? Fresh veggies, fresh fruits, hit the farmer's market, hit the produce section in the grocery store. That's another tip, which is not part of my top eight, but that's another tip. Shop the perimeter of the store. Even better, what can you grow at home in your garden? You can even grow some amazing vegetables like tomatoes and cucumbers in a container garden on a balcony on a, in a condo and apartment. There's so many little things we can do, or even, even herbs. Okay, grow some thyme, grow some, oh, sweet basil goes insane in my containers over here. Actually, they're my husband's containers because I don't garden, but it grows crazy. We had we have fresh sweet basil all year long, and I do have one more for you. Water. This is your best friend, okay? Water, 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 water. Make sure you're drinking half your weight in ounces every single day. Quit looking for the shortcuts. You know, just quit looking for the shortcuts. I have not gained weight since um, probably four years now. I'm not where I want to be. I am plus size, but I'm healthy. I am healthy. I can run circles around everybody. I am making a few little changes this year and I am now down a few pounds. That's okay. You know, I'm moving in the right direction, but most importantly, I feel amazing. And I do understand that those numbers are part of a much larger equation. Don't beat yourself up. It's one day at a time, and every day you get up and you keep moving forward. You got this, all right? If you need help or you need a push, reach out to me. You can get me all the time, denisanger at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And leave me comments because I read them all and I reply to them all. Chat with y'all soon. Bye.